I have a little page set up. It has uh, one panel or one div in it, and that div has a heading and some text. Um, I've styled it so I can kind of see the edges of things, and I've made that div so it takes up a thousand pixels across uh, my laptop's high resolution, so my laptop screen is pretty big, and I want it to have a gap on both sides, and I want that div to be in the middle, so I've set the margin to auto. Here's what it looks like right now. Um, so this is my div in the center, um, and it's taking up a thousand pixels. And I just want to show you um, that when I resize this thing, for a while it works out fine. This guy keys itself in the middle because of margin auto. But when I cross that threshold um, to be less than a thousand, um, that div isn't changing size at all, right? It's not responsive. So I'm actually losing the view to my text. And so if you can imagine that a phone oriented vertically might be accessing your website, that's going to be a problem because they're going to need to have to scroll over to the right, and that's not cool. Um, so pixels are not responsive units, and so they are a bad choice for modern web design because we don't know what the heck is accessing our sites, and it's probably not a computer, quite honestly, most of the time. So one easy move you can make to fix that is to, instead of using pixels, in fact, stop using pixels now for everything except, like, border, um, is to use percentages. So if I use a percent here, um, I'm just going to guess that I want it to be about 70% of the page. Let's see how that looks. Now that's about the same, so it's close enough. And when I shrink this guy, it is keeping itself 70% of that whole page as I resize this. And so when I'm at about a phone's orientation, I can still see all my text. Okay, so what you need to know about percent is it is calculating that percent based on its parent tag. So if I look at my HTML here, this div who I'm controlling, their parent is the body. So the body takes up 100% of the browser window. The div is now taking up 70% of that. Okay, and that's true of no matter what I put it on. So let's say I'm taking this H1 and I'm going to give it a width of 50%. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so this orange thing is my H1. So notice its width is now 50% of the div because if we look at the HTML, the H1's parent is the div. Parent means the tag that's just outside of you. That's true of P as well. So if I set a width oops, on P, I'm gonna have the same thing. Let's try 25%. Okay, so now the P is 25% of this div, not of the page, but of the div. Okay, so percentages are based on the size of your parent. Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want your percentages or your, your units calculated based on the viewport. The viewport means the, like, the thing through which you're viewing the website. So it could be the size of the browser. If the browser is fully expanded, it could be the size of the screen of the device. Okay, there's these other units that are based on the viewport that we can use, and those calculate based on the size of the entire thing viewing the site, not based on the size of the parent of the element. So here's what that looks like. I'm going to take these widths off for a second. All right, so we have some options here. Um, one viewport unit is VW for viewport width, and um, it is Basically, like if we look at the, the viewport viewing our site, um, we can divide that into 100 units. So one viewport unit is equivalent to 1% of the viewport's size. So if I make this now 70 viewport widths instead of 70%, it's going to behave the same since its div was the body. So let me show you that. So here's my div, and it is behaving just the same as it did when it was a percentage. Okay, um, if I mess with this guy, now before that, if that was a percentage, it would have been 70% of the page, but now it is 70% of the viewport, so it should be the same width as the div, which it is. I just want to prove that to you. Okay, so that is one viewport unit. Um, another one I might want to mess with is height. 
So I can say take up 100% of the viewport height. Let's see if that div stretches to take up the full height. There we go. Now our div expands and takes up the whole page. Okay. Now you may notice um, there's a little gap here at the edge, and that's because by default, all HTML tags have some CSS applied to them. And that's kind of annoying, actually, right? Because now I have to consider all the built-in stuff, and I'm not sure what it all is. So I can start turning that off and sort of just resetting the page, and it's very easy to do. What I do in my style sheet is select everything, and I want to turn off all margins, and I want to turn off all padding. Okay, So when I go back to this guy, I should lose that gap. Yeah, see the gap is gone. Now I am not getting any inherited margin or padding from the page itself and the and the regular styles of elements. So I have to control all of that, but it makes things behave a little bit more predictably. Okay. Um, there's also two other viewport units, um, and they have to do with dealing with, you know, like is a device rotated um, to be landscape or uh, portrait in in orientation. And so I can, if I want to, instead of using viewport width and viewport height, I can say make the width equal to whatever the smaller dimension is and make the height equal to whatever the larger direction is. Um, and this should behave basically like that. Oh, what's wrong with this guy? Oh, this guy's still got a width on it. Let me take that off so it behaves like its parent. All right, so right now, if I'm looking at my browser, it's definitely wider than it is tall. So this guy is pulling its height off the wider dimension. So it is matching its height to the width of my viewport. And funnily, it's matching its width to the smaller dimension, which is actually the height of my viewport. If I changed, if I shrink this guy so that it is taller instead of it is wide. Um, now it's pulling those dimensions from what seems more natural. But basically, those are your two other options if you want to maybe not um, get really, really tiny. If you're vertical, then you can say, okay, base of this on the, on the bigger dimension. Um, but, so there's four viewport units for you to control your site with.